Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about using partition by in SQL and more specifically partition by in Oracle's version of SQL. So partition by is one of those things that I find to be a little more confusing uh, than straight SQL because for the most part SQL is very easy to use but when you get into something like partition by, things get a little confusing. So in this video, I'll introduce to you how to use partition by. And if you want me to make a more complicated video, giving more complicated examples, just let me know and I can make a video doing that. But this video is going to be very simple. So what I have already is a table set up called comp results, and it has three columns, name, weight class, and victories. Uh, these just represent some sporting event where um, I have the victories that each athlete has in their respective weight classes. Um, in this case, weight class is in kilograms, so if you're an American, that's why the numbers are so low. These guys aren't really, really small. So I've inserted these rows into the table, and I'm going to use partition by it to learn some things about them. So here I have a query set up that just selects three rows from the table or the three columns from the table. So I run that and we see we have nine rows in the table. So what partition by is used for is to kind of break up your query into sections. And depending on what you partition by, uh, you can get different sections. So in my example that I'm going to show you, I'm going to partition by weight class. So that means I'm going to take the, the results of the query in a sense and I'm going to partition by the weight classes. And then with each of those partitions, I'll be able to say something about that partition. So for instance, um, let's say I get the weight class partition of 56. So in this partition, I have two rows. So there are two rows here in the table. And then I can figure out something about these rows as a whole using aggregate functions or analytic functions. So for instance, I can find out how many there are by using count, and I will get two. I can find out the max of the victories, which would be 20 in this case. I can find out the min of the victories, which would be five. And I can find out any other thing that can apply to a group of records. So any other aggregate or analytic function in Oracle. And this is pretty much the same with any a SQL language or SQL engine that you use but of course in this video I'm only focusing on Oracle so let me get the partition by set up so it's almost like another column it's not a real column in the database but you can treat it like a column in the select statement so I'm going to select um, some information that I get from this partition by so the very first thing you need is the function that you're going to apply to the entire partition. So for this first example, I'll do count. So it doesn't matter exactly what column I'm counting um, in the partition, so I'll just do count star. And then I need this over. The over tells um, the, the SQL engine that this is going to be used uh, as an analytic function instead of a regular aggregate function. So if I use just a regular count star, it will return the number of rows in the entire table. But when I use the over and then put partition by, then the SQL engine will know that I only want the count inside of each partition. So over, and then I need to put partition by. And then I need to select a column to create these partitions for it. So in this case, I'm going to use weight class. So that's it. Now that I have that set up, I can run the query. So now for each row returned, I get the name, weight class, and victories, but I also get the count for whatever the weight class. So we have 256, so I get two for each one of the 56 rows returned. I get four for the 75 because four rows exist for 75, and I get three for 94. So partition by is great for when you want to compare individual records with 
something about a whole. So in this case, I'm comparing um, each individual record with the number of records in the entire partition. So another example would be max. So let's say max victories. And I, I run the query again. So now for Steve, he's in weight class 56 and he has 20 victories. And I can compare that to the, the maximum number of victories in that weight class, which is 20 because it's him. Then when I go down to Uriah, he has five, and then I can compare that to the max, which is Steve's, and I get 20. And it's the same thing for uh, these others down below. So for the 75, it's 22 victories, and for 94, is 12. And then min is very similar. So you see, it's just taking this function and applying it to the partition and then taking that value and just putting it on every row where that partition applies. So that's all I want to show you in this. Like I said, if you want a more complicated example, just let me know and I can make another video for that. So just leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up down below. And if you like my channel overall, please subscribe. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time.